Uh, now let's talk about rep another representation of orientation, uh, which we call here equivalent single angle axis representation. Okay, so from the name you can tell that this is a single angle about an axis that represents also a general uh, rotation. Uh, so in general, rotation matrices are represented by three separate rotations about x and y and z. Okay, these are the three Cartesian coordinate axes. Uh, so as we saw earlier in the Euler uh, axes and uh, fixed axes, we had general rotation represented by rotating about x and then rotating about y and then rotating about z. Okay, uh, but also we can do general rotations uh, by uh, representing a single rotation, which is uh, by the amount of theta, about a specific vector k that's defined as kx and ky and kz relative to uh, coordinate frame A. Okay, so if we find that single axis and we can do the rotation about that single axis, then we can also represent a general rotation matrix uh, using this axis and uh, angle rotation. If we look at this uh, graph here, we have frame A in black, x, y, and z, a. And then we have also frame B in red, x, y, and z, b. And we can see here that we can produce this rotation, uh, a general rotation of frame B relative to frame A, uh, using rotation about x and then rotation about y and then rotation about z. But we can also do rotation about this k. Okay, this is a, a new vector, k. And we can, we can do a single rotation by the amount of theta about this k. And that, that will produce the exact same rotation of frame B relative to frame A. Okay, so we call this rotation uh, about axis K by the amount of theta. All right, so either of these two can be representative, general representative of rotation. Uh, but here we can do this uh, in a single angle and single axis instead of, instead of having three different rotations. To find the equivalent uh, rotation matrix when we use this method, the equivalent single angle axis representation, uh, let's assume here that k equals to kx and ky and kz transpose. So this is the axis for rotation. And let's assume that theta is the angle of rotation. In this case, the equivalent rotation matrix would be R uh, rotation matrix about k axis uh, by the amount of theta equals to, and this would be the nine elements for the rotation matrix. Now notice here, all of these nine elements are dependent on kx and ky and kz that are given here, and dependent also about on theta, uh, which is the angle of rotation. Uh, v theta here is defined as one minus cosine theta. So anytime you see V theta is defined as one minus cosine theta, okay? So this is the equivalent uh, rotation matrix uh, that would correspond to a single rotation about this axis. Now, when we have the opposite problem, when we have the general rotation matrix, and we need to find the single angle axis representation of this uh, matrix, uh, in this case, we need to find the rotation angle uh, and rotation axis from the rotation matrix. So when the rotation matrix is given as R, about k by the amount of theta, and it's given here in general uh, as r11 all the way down to r33. And then we need to get the single angle of rotation theta, and we need to find the single axis of rotation k uh, that we need to find from this rotation matrix. Okay? As we did earlier in this case, we compare nine elements or some of the nine elements from the given rotation matrix here. Uh, we compare these elements to the, ele the nine elements from the general rotation matrix that was found in the previous step. Okay, so for example, we can take R11 and compare it to this, that gives me an equation, and R21 compare it to this uh, corresponding element, and that will give me another equation. So I can get as many equations as I need, and then I solve for uh, kx, ky, kz, and theta. Uh, in this case, from these comparisons, we can uh, try to find the relationships that define the rotation angles and the axis of rotation in terms of the given rotation matrix elements which are uh, given here. Okay? 
So if we do this, then we're going to find out that theta equals to a cosine, which is r cosine, of r11 plus r22 plus r33 minus 1 divided by 2. And then we can also find out that k, vector k, equals to 1 divided by 2 sine theta. And then uh, in this vector here, we have r32 minus r23 and r13 minus r31 and then r21 minus r12. Okay, so that would give me the vector k, all three elements of the vector k. And here we have to note that theta has to be between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, if it's more than this, uh, the solution would not be valid. Uh, a cosine that you see uh, right here uh, is representative of r cosine, which is cosine inverse uh, of this value. Now let's take an example on this. Frame B was initially coincident with frame A. We then rotate B relative to frame A about vector K relative to frame A, as you see here. And that's defined by 0 0.707, 0 0.707, and 0 transpose. And this rotation happened by an angle of theta, which is 30 degrees. And what we need to do is we need to find the resultant rotation matrix RB relative to A. Okay, so it's a straightforward solution. We can substitute uh, directly to the single angle axis matrix uh, that we found earlier. Uh, R K by theta, by the uh, amount of theta equals to this. We have K X and K Y and K Z from here. And we also have theta uh, as 30 degrees here. So we can just go ahead and substitute these values. Then we'll find out the rotation about K by 30 degrees that was given here would equal to, after substituting all these values, would be equal to uh, this 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, so that would be a general rotation matrix that is represented by a single rotation about a single axis that's defined by this vector right here. All right, and again, this same exact uh, matrix can be found using the three uh, rotations, a rotation about x, rotation about y, rotation about z, or it can be found using a single rotation about uh, this vector defined by uh, k. Now let's do an n-class exercise that you can do on your own. Frame B was initially coincident with frame A. We then rotate B relative to frame A about vector k relative to frame A, uh, which is defined as 0 0.5676, 0 0.522, and 0 0.6367 transpose. Okay, so this is the definition of uh, vector k. And the rotation happened here uh, about angle theta, which equals to 87.34 degrees. What we need to do is we need to find the resultant rotation matrix that defines frame B relative to A. Uh, I want you to solve this on your own, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and pause for a few seconds. Please pause this video. And once you're done solving this exercise, you can come back and resume the video and see the answer uh, and match it with your uh, solution. Okay, uh, now that you're done with uh, solving this exercise, we're going to go ahead and find the solution here. Again, we substitute with a single angle axis matrix form. It's defined here as a rotation about k by the amount of theta. And this is our uh, form for the matrix. And we already have kx, ky, kz defined here in this vector. And we have theta also defined uh, as 87.34 degrees. So if we go ahead and substitute these, then we can find out that rotation about k by this angle would equal to uh, this 3 by 3 rotation matrix uh, with all the elements that are shown here. Okay, so please see if this matches your solution. If it doesn't match your solution, go back and check if uh, you did anything wrong uh, with your calculations. Now let's take another example here of the opposite problem. Uh, find the equivalent single angle axis rotation for the following rotation matrix. So we're given here a general rotation matrix, which is a resultant rotation matrix. And we're asked to find the single angle and the axis k uh, about which if we uh, rotate uh, 
about the axis, we can get this rotation matrix. So for the solution, again, it's a straightforward solution. We can substitute to the single angle axis uh, form. Um, as we uh, recalled earlier, we had theta defined as arc cosine of R11 plus R22 plus R33 minus 1 divided by 2. We already have all these R's from here. So R11 is the first row, first column. R22 is second row, second column. And R33 is third row, third column. So we can take these values and substitute them here. And then if we evaluate this, we're going to find out that this theta equals to 30 degrees. OK? And then to find uh, the vector, again, k is defined as 1 over 2 sine theta. And then r32 minus r23, r13 minus r31, and r21 minus r12. All these r's are extracted from here. And if we substitute them, uh, we can come up with the solution for k, which would be 0 0.707, 0 0.707, and 0. Okay, so here we did the solution when we are given a general rotation matrix, we were able to find uh, the corresponding single angle and the corresponding single axis uh, that represent uh, this rotation matrix. Now let's take an in-class exercise here where I want you to solve this on your own. Find the equivalent single angle axis rotation for the following rotation matrix. You're given here a 3 by 3 rotation matrix with all its values. And what you need to find is you need to find the single angle and then the definition of the vector, the single vector uh, that represents the axis for rotation uh, for this rotation matrix. Uh, I'm going to pause here for a few seconds. Please go ahead and solve this on your own uh, and pause my video. And once you're done with the solution of this exercise, you can resume the video and see the solution uh, after you're done solving it. Okay, now that you're done with uh, solving this exercise, let's go ahead and see the solution here. So we can substitute directly with a single angle axis forms. Uh, theta equals to a uh, arc cosine, which is cosine inverse of R11 plus R22 plus R33 minus 1 divided by 2. All these R's are defined here. This is R11, R22, and R33. You substitute them here, and then you find out that theta equals to 87.34 degrees. Okay, now for the vector, k equals to 1 over 2 sine theta. Uh, theta is already found, we found it here. And then uh, here we have a vector of r32 minus r23, r13 minus r31, and r21 minus r12. All these values of r's are given here. So you can extract them and put them here and evaluate this. And then you'll come up with a single vector here, uh, which is uh, 0 0.5676. 0 0.522 and 0 0.6367. Okay, uh, so we were able here to find uh, the single vector uh, and the single uh, rotation, single uh, uh, angle, uh, and then that would correspond to this rotation matrix.